a big, big Space Engineers game update is on the horizon. Hey everyone, my name is Captain Jack and welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to talk about a somewhat announced update for Space Engineers coming in the future. Now this is a Grid AI update. It's an upcoming major update for the game which is built and going to change how grids actually work in the game. Yeah, that sounds a bit weird, doesn't it? Let me take you through the latest blog post from Mark Rosa, who's the CEO of Keen Software House, the developers of Space Engineers. Some of you will know who Mark is round right about now, but I'll tell you about the update anyway and what's actually coming down the pipeline. Also, there's some DLC updates some of you might want to be aware of, and we'll quickly touch on that. So this news follows the most wanted update, which is the last update to the game. It just happened. Uh, last is the most recent one, not the last last update. Basically, this introduced a bunch of community edition things. Um, and basically, it was things the community wanted. Uh, such as like curved conveyor tubes and a few things like that. You can go check out my video on it. It was really cool to have that actually introduced. So one thing Keen and I are focusing on is listening to the community even more so. And I think no matter what you think of Keen, they've definitely done that in the past. But I know what you want to hear about. You want to think, Jack, what is this grid update? What's actually going on? Well, let's quickly touch on it. Grid AI. So this is grid artificial intelligence in a sense. I don't think it's going to be full AI, but let's quickly read into it. So it's build us, that's it, it's coming. The time to build your friends is on the horizon. Coming later this year, no date yet, Keen are exploring a future full of automated and animated allies and enemies, i.e. grids. The end goal for this major update is to completely change what a grid is and redefine the enemy and AI experience in the game. They're currently in the process of creating tools and empower the creativity of a player base like never before. They strongly believe this to be one of the most impactful updates they've ever released and they cannot wait to see the workshop come alive with new creations from the community. The update is not only going to reshape many major elements of the gameplay system in Space Engineers, but also serve as a basis for continued exploration of the NPC concept. So that's NPCs which we're typically familiar with in game. The idea behind this is these powerful new mechanics will create new engineering opportunities and serve as a foundation for future upgrades and improvement of the existing PvE content of the game. That's player versus environment, opposed to player versus players you typically know. I'm getting my acronyms confused there. Now this feature is still in early development, so there's no new sort of concrete information to share, but this is the first announcement we've gotten of it, and it sounds really cool. So let's quickly take a pause and recap. So you're probably thinking, Jack, what is Grid AI? What's actually going to be going on? Why is this slightly confusing? I don't understand. Don't worry, stick with me, I'll explain. So, without any official details, we kind of have to theorize what this update is going to be. Well, for a while, the community of Space Engineers have said we want NPC combat and NPC things in-game. Essentially, PvE content. Whether those be dynamic missions where you've got ships flying around, or waves of hordes of drones and big ships coming to attack you. We've seen inklings and little treacles of that inside of Space Engineers before. That's meant to be trickles, you get my point. We've seen like dabs and dibs of it before in Space Engineers. However, we've never seen like a full on PV experience in the main core game. Now, thanks to many mods such as modular encounter systems and the reverse and many of the mods that fit into that component system, we've obviously been able to experience PV in content. For example, I'm currently running in my Starship Lost series and I've done so in the survival series before, where we get random PV content to actually take place in the game as we're playing inside it. Whether these be trading stations or ships or cargo ships flying around the atmosphere or various stuff like this, that for me is viable PV content for the game. Whether the upcoming Space Engineers update is going to work like that does remain to be seen, but we should really look into what Marek says. The end goal of this update is to completely change what a grid is and redefine the enemy in quotation marks and the AI experience. Currently, the enemy in Space Engineers, when we're talking about PV, is very lackluster. We've obviously had cyber hands in the past, which never really worked quite well. We've obviously got drones here and there and stuff like that, but there is no real enemy. We currently have minor NPC ships floating around in the vanilla game, but they don't really do much. They don't really hunt you down or anything like that. It is kind of lackluster. So when we think about a major update for this, we've got to think broader. If you've tested the MES mod before, you know the potential that mod can introduce. So if Keen are looking to do something similar to that, that is going to be really cool. It makes use of a lot of scripts and gameplay elements, provide things like Reavers who will hunt you down based on your antenna signal, scramble your grid, hack into your ship system, stuff like that. It's really cool. And if you've not checked out a mod yet, I would highly recommend it as it is absolutely fantastic. 
Mac and the Keen devs also say the update will not only reshape many major elements of gameplay, but also serve as a basis for continued exploration of the NBC concept. So it's clear, the Grid AI update, which is a major gameplay update coming later this year, presumably with no date yet, is not just going to introduce this sort of NBC concept again and PV content, but also expand on it for future iterations of Space Engineers updates, maybe even future iterations of Space Engineers itself if we're ever getting Space Engineers 2, a man can dream. Now obviously this feature is still in early development so we've got more information hopefully coming closer to release and there's no target date on this year. I'm going to say the target date for this is likely Q3 or 4. We're in Q1 crossing into Q2 currently if we talk about business quarters of years. I know it sounds rather technical but you get what I mean. So what would I like to see from this? Well personally when I'm playing Space Engineers Vanilla which I rarely do these days as I mod the hell out of it because I've been playing for nearly 8 or 9 years now it's quite crazy. I really want NBC ships. One of the best experiences I've had in Space Engineers is loading one of my custom grids into the game and surviving on it as we're hunted down by vicious reavers and things attacking a grid, forcing us to stop, hide, rebuild and continue on our journey through the star system. Gameplay like that really brings out the engineering side of things for me. It also brings on new elements of gameplay. If I'm destroying my ships, I can go and salvage them, repair my ships and stuff like that. It is really cool. We covered a similar aspect of gameplay in our Space Engineer Survival series. We ended up building an amalgamation of grids on our heli carrier and then took to space and continued doing so just by hacking PV content grids and taking them apart, but also running into other combat environments around here. We weren't just going to wander through space for 50 kilometers or more and not meet anyone. We met these AI grids and had combat with them, some you could trade with, some would just fly by and you know, don't want to pay you any attention. The potential for all of this is really there, so let me know what you think in the comment section below. Now a quick thing as I mentioned, a DLC price change is coming to Space Engineers. Starting on July 7th, 2022, that's just over a month away or under a month away, the DLC packages for Space Engineers will receive their first increase in 3 years. DLC content will have its price adjusted to $4.99 USD. This is $1 up from $3.99 USD, or it's your regional equivalent. So here in the UK, that'll be $3.99 to £4.99. Make sense? I hope so. Now the price change will not impact the base game price, so you can still buy Space Engineers at the same price it's currently at. Now this may be disappointing to some, as some do have very vocal objections against DLC, and rightly so. It is a controversial subject, and I appreciate both sides of the argument. However, Keen are trying to do their best by this, and I will commend what they've actually announced they're doing. Before they make a price adjustment, they want to give Space Engineers players one final opportunity to collect any DLC they may be missing. So starting today at the time of recording on June 6th, with release of this blog post, they're running the Last Chance Sale. This is in order to guarantee that as many Space Engineers players as possible are able to take advantage of the sale and get caught up on the DLC. For PC players, the sale will last the entire month from June 6th to July 7th when the prices go up. You'll be able to save 30% on discounts for DLC on PC for Space Engineers. Now if you're an Xbox player, don't worry we haven't forgotten about you. Xbox players will be have the opportunity to get all the DLCs at the discount price from June 14th to June 20th. It's a little bit of a shorter window, but they're unable to do a month long sale on Xbox, likely due to Microsoft being a bit iffy about that. That kind of rounds up most of this update sort of announcement today, so out of a blue one, didn't even know this was coming myself. However, Keen have announced they are looking for community members to input guides and stuff to help other players learn the game. Essentially, modding and scripting can be hard, and sometimes it's easy to feel discouraged by it. Keen want to announce, and basically not announce, they want to invite more people to encourage others to take up modding and scripting for the game. There's already an extensive collection of resources out there, however, some people want to create more, and basically Keen want to highlight more of these resources to teach people how to mod, script, build, play the game, or anything that is space engineers focused. So maybe you want to do a survival series, maybe you want to teach people how to mod, or script, or just build the ship of your dreams. Create a video, create an article, create a blog, Keen want to hear from you. You can email community at keensoftwarehouse.com, the address is on Max blog post I would recommend going and taking a look at it as it will make sense and uh, give you a read on it. In terms of future content, Mac has announced they have a roadmap for the continued development of Space Engineers for both PC and Xbox platforms. So there's a lot more to look forward to hopefully coming up later this year. The major content releases continue to be aligned for PC and Xbox, so all Space Engineers are going to get the game content on the same day regardless of what platform they're currently playing on, which is really cool.
Okay, everyone, that's it for myself today. I do hope you've enjoyed this little mini update video. I really, really want to hear your thoughts down below in the comment section on what you think is actually going to happen with this sort of upcoming um, AI change as such and grid sort of upgrade. I think the potential of it is really cool, but of course, I want to hear your comments down below in the video comment section as per usual. I've been Captain Jack. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time. Goodbye.